we are here at MWS, and uh, I want to introduce you to Pamela from Menagy. We carry the Menagy line here on our beauty floor, and Pamela is the owner of yes. the company. Menagy came specifically because there was a need for men to be able to have better skin, look better uh, on camera, and then of course off camera. And today we see that all the time with how many guys today take really good care of themselves mm -hmm. and want to make sure that they look great just in case there is a camera moment. Is there any significance to the name Menagy? It's interesting. We wanted to have the name men in it. Um, it has the word men in it. Agi comes from a Scandinavian root meaning power. And it was the idea that if you can improve your appearance, it's actually very empowering. And mm -hmm. the idea again behind this is that you can have products that make your skin healthier, make you look better, and if you look better, you feel better, and you feel better, you have more confidence, and with more confidence, of course, there's a success. Exactly. So the products here are formulated for men's skin. Men's skin is thicker, it's oilier, uh, it has larger pores, it has hair, of course. It's inclusive of skincare, because if you don't have healthy skin, clean skin, putting makeup on anything, doesn't look too good. Mm. Uh, so we have a face and body scrub that literally is a, and these are all um, chock full of botanicals. We really have a very clean line. The face and body scrub is something that um, will slough up dead skin cells. So if a makeup artist, um, sometimes before a film, you'll have a chance to see your actor or your actors that you're responsible for. If you can get this into their hands, um, this will allow the skin to actually be clean and be in better shape by the time you see them. Okay. So we've actually talked about brand here and now Pamela is gonna actually show you how to use it with the model and show you how it's applied correctly and let him apply it as well on his own so that you can see how easy it is to apply. We have Clear Shave, which is a, it's an airless pump. It is a no water needed um, shave product. So you literally pump it to get the air mm -hmm. out. It's got a, an air seal on it. It comes out clear, no water. You can use a straight edge, you can use an electric razor, you can use it for shaping and um, mm -hmm. contouring, you know, for head design, fade, whatever it is that you want to do with the head area. So those in FX use it for making sure that the head is completely bald mm -hmm. for any type of uh, skull caps and things like that. This is liquid powder shine eliminator, which is a very lightweight cream. It goes on and what this does is it knocks out any shine. So I can even share this with you. So prior yeah, to coming one, on this today. This one here um, is actually one of the most popular, the popular products that we sell. I would say this in the, in the clear and shape. The clear shape yeah. These are must-haves for any makeup mm -hmm. artist. If I were to choose the must-haves, there may be four out of this. Mm -hmm. So with makeup artists, the, the challenge generally is he or she doesn't have an awful lot of room in their kit. So they need products to be able to be used by more than just one. So you want these so that you can say, yeah, I've got things specifically for men. But some of these products, as I mentioned, are used also by the artists for mm -hmm. female too. So our 911 eye gel, which is a very lightweight cooling, it has light reflecting properties. It's used around the eye area to take down puffiness. Um, the light um, beautifully um, plays off of it so you look younger. This is used, it was used um, at a Victoria model shoot, literally for the entire face to get that dewiness and to get the light bouncing off. And that was, again, on women. Um, this one goes on very light. This is the liquid powder shine eliminator. It's a must have for any kit. You can knock off shine. So again, mm -hmm. on the top of a head, you can build on it. All of these are products that um, you can build, you can reapply. So on the skincare side, the liquid powder shine eliminator is one that um, is kind of a must have. Uh, on the skincare side, one other product that I want to mention though is, the, one of the big challenges for makeup application is, if the skin doesn't have moisture in it, you don't have that surface that you need. So what you want to have is you want to add a little moisture. Actually, let me have your hand on time. So this is, again, lightweight. It has a wonderful, um, it's made with grapefruit um, peel. It's just smell them. It goes on, it absorbs really quickly. Nice. It, uh, it, it provides that moisture that allows the skin to kind of almost like a sponge take it in and now you've got that beautiful canvas that you want to be able to apply makeup again from a guy's point of view he doesn't want to hear beautiful canvas he just wants to hear you're putting moisture back in wow that smells great then we came out with three that actually have a tint to them these are this one that says light we have light medium and dark this is now a tinted moisturizer. A lot of people call them BB creams. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's even better than a BB cream because it has a little bit more oomph to it. It has an SPF 30. So this gives not only hydration, 
It gives that beautiful sunblock that you need to make sure, because we've got guys, you know, you've got, we work with ESPN, we work with a lot of guys who are outside. They use this to make sure they've got the sun protection, yeah. but they also have well, the interesting tint. That you, you mentioned that, uh, that ESPN, so we actually here at the store, mm -hmm. some of the customers who come in and, and purchase this, um, this product are, are actors and are not, on air not talent. Bright, on, on air talent. Yeah. And we've sort of, we have a few newscasters who come in and they buy this stuff because they don't have a makeup artist, but they're out on the field and they're doing it on their own. Exactly. Um, so that's why I think it's a perfect, you know, perfect well, line for that. It is so that, for, again, with a makeup artist, he or she will have a larger kit. For someone who's on air talent, very often um, they don't have a makeup artist, mm -hmm. as you mentioned, Tommy. So we have small kits. I think you guys have some of mm -hmm. them here. And in that kit, you can put three or four products. So for on air talent, if they're outside doing outdoor shots, um, something with an SPF 30 is awesome. Mm -hmm. That's the power hydrator plus the plus being that it has the, the SPF and it has tint. So again, you want to even out that skin tone. Um, because it is a, a sunblock product, traditionally it is more of a white cream. With this, you don't have that. So when you put it on your skin, it sinks right in and it completely matches and it just evens out the skin tone. So these are um, concealer sticks. They go on very creamy, but what it does is it feathers in, it, it will not sink into crevices. You can catch the eye socket, especially in here with men, very often you have darkness through here. The thing about makeup is if we don't call it makeup, it's sometimes even easier. We call them concealer sticks. Um, these actually, which are the pressed powders, are called hockey pucks for the guys on television. The idea is to get them to at least touch it to realize, first off, it's not gonna bite them. Mm -hmm. And with, with any type of makeup, if you put something on you don't like it, you literally just rub it off. For a guy to try to start wearing makeup is not is not something that every every guy's gonna do. But if you're going out or if you're Absolutely. just wanna, you know, like, a, like I said, an actor going to an audition or something like that, and you don't wanna look like you have a full beaded face. Exactly, <laughs> you know exactly. I mean? It just helps to even out your skin tone and, um, and you know, make you look. So yeah. We're working now with um, a ballroom dancer in New York, and he's gonna be doing a video specifically on how he gets himself ready um, to be on camera under hot lights. None of this moves under hot lights, which so is you extremely important. That, that somebody who sweats a lot, it actually it, it, is. It's, it's fantastic, great. yes. Um, we wanna keep this simple. We wanna be able to have a guy, whether it be a model, as you mentioned earlier, who's heading off to a go see, to be able to have a few things in his bag that he can just make himself look better rested healthier, more awake, and no one knows that anything's mm -hmm. on. So it's undetectable, even in high def. You came to MWS, and why did you seek um, us out in you know, a, like a small a small store like us? Um, there's a lot of big companies who could sell. Could sell yeah, us. and it's interesting, because we've been approached by them too. Um, I'm a believer that you need to have a good fit, mm -hmm. and you want to be in the company of people who really know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So when you look at who handles Broadway, who handles theater, who handles Madison Square Garden, you know, there are only a couple in New York, and you guys are the ones that also do wardrobe, and I thought that was wonderful, because it's it's an entire look. Um, wardrobe is so important for the persona, whatever the story is, um, but the makeup supports that, and together. So for me, you guys were kind of the whole package, which mm -hmm. is what I really loved. Um, and also the knowledge of who you've got here working on the floor yeah. is fantastic. But I also like the fact that you support you know, a small business. Absolutely. Just all the big, you know, big boxes. Absolutely, we're not we're not in the big ones. Um, we've opted not to, and that's and that's a tough call too for um, companies as sure. big as they grow because you do get that. You know, from a business point of view, you do get that hockey stick kind of um, mm -hmm. bounce. But if you really believe in your craft and really believe in what it is we're doing, and we are one step at a time educating men about how to take better care of their skin, how to look better, how to make sure that for any selfies, I mean, everybody out there is taking photographs today. Every time you turn around, mm -hmm. someone has their, their phone trained on you. So it's all about being camera ready all the time. Mm -hmm. And to do that, you need a couple products. And the confidence that comes from that, the ability to know that you can turn and someone's snapping something and, and there you are. So we were, we just did, um, you know, we do Men's Fashion Week in New York, mm -hmm. as you know. We've done, uh, I wanna say over the last, six years we've done about eight shows uh, the one that we did this past winter was um what was the most recent one it's also one of the biggest we did the joseph abood show mm. which was downtown on um at the south street so did, the, did makeup artists use it or did the models actually do it themselves makeup artists we had makeup artists I and mean, we bring in our key we bring in mm -hmm. a team of i think there were at least a dozen i think we might have had 14 that day but from that 
we're very, um, I like to think, thorough in terms of collecting the names and the, the number of models who we work with that, that day who come back to us now and are buying product mm -hmm. is pretty high. There were 52 boys that day. I think we've got close to a dozen who say, really felt I look good that day and they can use anything and they'll buy, again, even if it's just the lip balm and making sure that they've got a really good hydrator or that they've got the clear shave. Um, so that's another way that we continue to build the brand is actually with, with the end user too. That's great.